What's good everyone, Aggie Coach here. All right guys, so this is the third video for uh, the Fat 8 True Scale Build video. And I am in the process right now of prepping my wires. Uh, I've already mounted my motors, as you can see. I have my 10 motors mounted already. So this board is gonna have 10 motors under it and right now i'm going to explain to you how i have my motors mounted so you guys can understand the concept um i had to come up with a concept that's going to allow me to quickly remove the motors without having to unwire them and rewire them back whenever i want to switch a board out i needed a quick um transition from one field to the next so putting transistors and mounting all of those kinds of things under the board won't work for me. So I came up with a very, very effective uh, and a very time-saving methodology for being able to take the motors off of this board and mount them under one of those boards, right? Which is where, um, which is where the other home fields are gonna go, right? Um, so I can switch things out really easy. So let me show you guys. So what I did here is I have my um, I have my mounting pads, right? So let's look at this motor right here, right? So I have my mounting pads here. Now the original wire prep that I did, uh, the original wire prep that I did, the I, it turned out that the wires were too short. So I had to cut brand new wires um, so that I can um, be able to do this uh, clean and fast. So basically I have, I have my white, which is going to be, um, which is going to signify my, um, the, the, I, the blue is gonna signify my hot wire and the white is going to signify, signify um, my, uh, my negative so what I did was this one as you can see has a white stripe on it so I'm gonna run this to the white and I'm gonna run this one to the blue so I've organized it all the way around the board so I know what goes where um, so basically what I'm gonna have to do whenever I want to switch out a board all of my boards I've already done the measurements so from the edge my um, my mounting pad is exactly seven and a half inches from the edge. Each motor is 12 inches from each other. So this one is 12 inches from that one. That one is 12 inches from this one. That one is 12 inches from that one. That one is 12 inches from that one. And that one is seven and a half inches from the edge. And I did that all the way around. So to make this very, very easy, all I have to do is um, take my clippers and just clip off the zip tie and the motor comes right off and I don't have to unwire it. So what I did to make life easy for me is I just went and bought me a bunch of zip ties, right? I get three bags of these. You get like a hundred in each bag. So I have like 400 of these, right? Which will last me for a really long time. So then all I have to do is for each one of these when I want to change out, I just pop the clip tie off that will dismount the motor. I'll do that, right? Then I can take this board off, move it, put a new board down. It'll already have the pre-measured mounting pads under it. All I do is put the motor there, zip tie the motor, zip, pull it, I'm done. And I just go around the board. Quick way to unmount and remount my motors. And that way I can change out my boards with have, without having to go through a whole bunch of rigmarole with um, you know, unplugging this and unplugging that. It's just too much work. And doing it this way means that I don't even have to unplug it from my power supply. All I have to do is turn the power supply off or unplug the power supply from the wall to be safe so I don't have to worry about any current going to it, but I don't have to unplug the motors from the power supply. I just unplug the power supply from the wall so it's getting no current, pop the motors off, zip tie the new motors down, once they're zip tied down, I plug the power supply back into the wall and I'm off running. And I can do that in under five minutes. 
So that's a very, very quick, effective way for me to um, change out my motors. So I just wanted to explain that part to you guys so you understand how I'm gonna go about changing out my motors whenever I'm working on, whenever I'm changing fields. So that makes sense to you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm going to get all of this soldered and I got to, um, I got to um, solder the new lines, the new wires to the old wires, and then I got to get my electric tape so I can protect myself. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this stuff mounted and done. And when I come back, when I come back, it'll be completed, and um, which I'll do here shortly, probably take me 35 or 40 minutes, maybe an hour to get it all wired up. Once I get it all wired up and get it all plugged in, I'll flip it over, I'll come back, and you guys will get to see the board run. So stand by. All right, guys, I'm back. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, I know for you guys that probably was short because it was just one screen switch and one transition and boom, you back. It just took me three and a half hours to rewire this board. Um, it sounds beautiful. Uh, now I'm going to be spending the next few days troubleshooting uh, and play testing on the board. Um, it's a possibility that I might add more motors. I will see. Right now, 10 motors sound beautiful. It's a very quiet, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice hum. I, I really, really like it. It doesn't knock, it sounds really smooth, and the player runs really smooth right now, but I'm concerned, I'm wondering if when the field cover goes on, because it's vinyl, if when the field cover goes on, it's going to deaden the vibration a little bit more. Um, so it might slow the players down a little more. Um, I don't know. So... I want you guys to get an opportunity to see how this baby runs. Um, I'm really excited about how it runs because it is so smooth. So I got TJ Yeldon here on the board um, and we're going to get a chance to see how he runs. <laughs> It is definitely gonna mean doing some retweaking, and that's okay. Um, but she runs good. She runs good. She sounds nice. She runs good. The players, um, I feel like, I feel like they move at a more realistic rate now, um, because you know you have to cover so much ground. And the player shouldn't move from goal line to goal line in like three seconds. So um, my goal is to have him move 40 yards using realistic time. The fastest running backs, 4.3 seconds. Um, so hopefully this is going to be more along the real scale now. <laughs> distance so um is he gonna be significantly slower when i put the field cover on is the question so i'm gonna be putting the teams i'm gonna be going through all the teams um i'm gonna be putting the teams on here and play testing this and going through and just making sure that i'm okay um i'm super excited hey i cannot tell you guys how excited I am. The board is wired up. The board is running. 10 high speed motors. Realistic speed, right? So the player should move 40 yards in about top speed, 4.2, 4.3 seconds. Slowest, you know, 5.2, 5 5.3, 5 5.4, 5 5.6 5 in that area for the slow guys. Hopefully this is gonna be a lot more realistic and not moving 40 yards in like 1.2 seconds, which they do on my small board. So 
I'm super, super, super excited, guys. Super excited. It's 11.30 at night. I've been working on this thing since 5 o'clock today, um, since I got off work. So I am getting ready to crash and turn in now. And I'm probably not even going to be able to sleep because I'm so doggone excited about my boy. I love the way she sounds. She sounds beautiful. And my boys are running on board, which I'm also super excited about. So, um, yeah, it's all good. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is video number three on building the fat eight true scale board the board is now up and running so all i'm gonna do now is spend a few days play testing the field covers should start trickling in in about a week week and a half or so um i'll get the first one mounted on here i have no idea which one is going to be the first one that's going to go down well actually yeah i do because it's going to be game two so i'll keep that secret um, game number two coming up. You guys make sure that you also check in the website. Uh, I'm going to be updating the website over the next few days as well. So all of the schedules will be going up on the website and lots and lots and lots of conference information will be on the website. Um, the top rushers, the top tacklers, the top kick returners, the top, you know, defensive linemen, all that good stuff. All right, guys, so I'm going to end it right here, man. Aggie Coach out. Don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that like button on the way out. Peace.